So in this video, let us look into the new law, which is called is the law of cosines. All right. So let's see what is it. What is the law of cosines? All right. In any triangle ABC, we have a square equals b square plus c square minus 2bc cosine of a. Now this a is the angle. All right. Say for example, we have a triangle here a b and c these are the angles all right and these are the sides small a and then b and c just opposite to those angles that's all so that's how we got this law of cosines here so this can also be written as cos a equals you just uh, keep cos of a on one side and shift all the rest to the right hand side left hand side whatever that is you get b squared plus c squared minus a square divided by 2bc all right so this is one of the laws and the next one would be definitely b square now that a square is over it's going to be b square b square is nothing but c square plus a square minus 2ac cos capital b that is the angle or cos of b can be written as uh, a square plus c square minus b square divided by 2ac and then finally we've got uh, c square which is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab cos c or cos c equals a square plus b square minus c square divided by 2ab all right so these are the three formulas or equations or whatever you want to call them forms the law of cosines all right just like the sine rule or the law of sines we've got this law of cosines so that's all you just have to be familiar with this and just like the way that we applied the sine rule for various problems we're also going to solve a lot of problems based on the law of cosines all right so that ends this video i'll see you in the forthcoming videos with uh, problems based on the law of cosines